Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. We're making a video today to show you how to properly connect your smartphone to your new SoundStream HDHU 14 Plus head unit. We're going to show you how to both do it correctly wired and how to add Apple CarPlay wirelessly to your new radio. So stick around and let me show you how to do it right. All right, so you've bought a new radio for your Harley, and this Soundstream Reserve radio has turned out to be an excellent choice. But we wanna make sure that all of our customers have a great experience, and the number one thing we're gonna be doing is connecting our smartphone to this new radio. So we wanna make sure we do it right. So it's very important, when you take your smartphone and you connect it in Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you're actually sending data from the phone into the radio so you can view it on the screen. We're not just charging our phone, we're actually sending data through what they call sync. So one of the number one tech support calls we get are people having a hard time with their Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. They wanna blame the radio, they wanna blame the phone, but most of the time it's simply the cable or the connection in which they've decided to use to connect to the radio. So your stock cable that came with your phone is probably a decent quality cable if you're connecting it to your computer to upload photos or to possibly just charge your phone. But as you use it, it gets broke down. And if you bought your cable at a convenience store or a gas station, it probably doesn't do sync at all. So we want to go over a couple of the brands that we have great success with. So one of them is a company called Skosh. They make a strike line premium cable. It's a lifetime warranty. It's automotive grade. They use heavier copper wire inside. And so we get less of what they call jitter. So we don't get a lot of interference from the charging system or the electrical system of your Harley. Uh, we also have a company called iSimple that makes an excellent cable as well. Both of these are available on our site. There are many good brands. Anchor is another good brand, but we've got to make sure it does charge and sync, that it's just as short as we need. We don't want to use a, a six foot or 10 foot cable when we're a foot away from the radio. Shorter the cable, the more consistent your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto is going to work, the faster everything's going to work. So on your screen, there's not going to be any delays. And also it is going to charge it better as well. So short cable, automotive grade, USB-C or lightning. If you want to find those on our website at volunteeraudio.com, just search those keywords. You can type in the word USB and you're going to find it. Lightning or USB-C will also bring up these cables. And we're only going to list cables that are going to work well for CarPlay or Android Auto. But now I got something I think is even cooler. So you bought it, it's got wired CarPlay and a lot of people are going, can I get wireless CarPlay? Why didn't it have wireless CarPlay? Well, there's a chip shortage in the world right now and to get Apple certification for wireless CarPlay is very expensive. So when you don't have the product to make it, you just go along with what you already have certified. But our friends over at ZZ2 have got the ZZ Air Dash CP. This is an awesome piece. Number one, it's small enough, it's gonna fit in your Harley in the little glove box where your USB is. We're gonna simply plug this in and it's gonna add wireless CarPlay to our Soundstream HD HU14+. Plus. Now, if you didn't buy one of those and you're going, hey, I've got a stock GTS radio, as long as your Apple CarPlay currently works, when you plug in your phone, this will add it too. Now, this isn't a bypass jumper or some way to magically unlock the WIM to make it work. So you will have already had to have your WIM flashed or a CarPlay jumper and your radio already work wired before the wireless will add it on and function properly. The other end of this also has a USB on it. That is for charging. So if you're doing your wireless car play and you still want to plug into charge, you can do that. So I'm going to just stick around. We're going to hook it up to the bike here. I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect and how to install it on your bike. All right, so we've got a road glide here that already has the new Soundstream Reserve Radio installed. I've got it powered up and I'm going to show you how easy this is. So we're going to go to our stock USB. We're going to simply plug in our ZZ2 interface, put it in the pocket and shut the door that easy. All right, next, we're going to take our phone. We're going to open up. We're going to go to our settings menu. And we're going to look, as you see on your screen, it's going to come up and show you exactly what to search for. So you're going to want to go to Bluetooth. And you're going to find, on this case, it says SoundStream, or S-T-R-E, 9FO3. So if you'll open up your phone, go to Bluetooth, find that in your Bluetooth. It's waiting for us to find it now. Now this is a one-time connection. It will automatically reconnect each time you get on the bike after you've done this setup. 
All right, so on our phone, I can see the SoundStream 9FO3. I'll select that with the phone. It's gonna make a connection to the bike. Now your phone is also gonna prompt you. It's gonna ask you if it's okay to connect with CarPlay. Hit use CarPlay on your phone. And now we're connecting to the radio. All right, so now we have wirelessly connected our Apple CarPlay. So we can go through and we can look at all of our apps that we have loaded, just as if we were plugged in. Now I've already tested this. I walked over 30 feet away. We still had connectivity with no problem. So this means you could put your phone, leave it in your pocket, put it in your side bag, put it in a tour pack. You could put it anywhere you wanna charge it or leave it, and you're gonna have all this control from the screen. So I think this is an awesome add-on, very, very easy as you see to install, and every time you get on now, it's just gonna wirelessly connect. All right, so on our YouTube video here that you're watching, we're gonna have a link to this ZZ2 interface on our website. So it'll make it easy for you to be able to purchase if you want to. So we've got an amazing radio that works awesome with wired Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but we also have this awesome piece from ZZ2 to make it where we have wireless CarPlay. All right, thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe, please follow us. Uh, all of this encourages us to make more videos and if it's helped you, uh, definitely do so. Um, thank you for watching and God bless.